Well, it's back to school for thousands of kids across Northeast Florida this week. In the Julington Creek area of St. Johns County, families are making sure young ones look fresh for the new school year. Online check-ins reaching capacity at Great Clips on Racetrack Road today. We're told one person described lives as, quote, a zoo in here. Tomorrow, students in Duval, Nassau, and St. Johns County and several other counties will head back to start a new school year. We have a few uh, reminders for you. Uh, if you're hitting the roads early tomorrow morning, News for Jacks reporter Allison Henning joins us live from St. Johns County outside Palm Valley Elementary School. Allison, this month also marks Child Safety Awareness Month from the, from the state's Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. Scott, that's exactly right. And here tomorrow morning, classes start at 825 in the morning. You can see it on the sign right there. So this area is going to be packed with kids heading off to their first day of school. Now, many schools in our area do have yellow lights flashing around school zones, marking those school zones, reminding drivers to slow down to 15 miles an hour. But in this case, there's a crosswalk here going across A1A. So if you're in this area or an area like this, just be sure to keep your eyes peeled and take it slow. Crossing guards, school buses, parents and students will be out and about early Monday morning for the first day of school. Father of three, Craig Cornick, wrapped up his family's back to school shopping Sunday night. But looking forward to it. Tomorrow's the big day. Cornick's 11 year old will be taking a school bus for the very first time Monday. As more people pack the roads, he hopes drivers keep safety and rules of the road in mind. I've heard horror stories of kids getting off of buses and people not stopping. That's where it's the biggest concern. In 2018, there were more than 3,100 school bus crashes in Florida and more than 130,000 children up to age 17 were involved in crashes around the state. We spoke with our News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, over the phone about the number one mistake he says drivers make. Not being aware that they're going through a school zone and speeding through it, which endangers everybody in that zone. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. You know, people forget that there's school zones, especially this first week of school. People forget that there's school zones. They're zooming through, not paying attention, doing other things, and it's a hazard to our children. And drivers, keep in mind the morning commute tomorrow might take a little bit longer because of all those extra cars on the road heading back to school. So plan to leave a few minutes earlier than usual to make sure you get to where you're going on time. Reporting live in St. John's County, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.